Hey guys, welcome to vteachacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about transversal on parallel lines. So now let me explain you with the help of a rough diagram over here. Now here in this diagram L is parallel to M and P is a transversal intersecting lines L and M at a two distinct points thus forming eight angles. Now let us represent these angles by the respective numbers. Let us say this is angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4 and similarly on the other vertex let us represent this as angle 5, angle 6, angle 7 and angle 8. Now here in this diagram if you observe that the corresponding angles that is angle 1 and angle 5 is always equal that is if you have a trace paper and you place a trace paper by tracing the lines L, M and P on that and slide the tracing paper along P until the line L coincides with line M you find that the angle 1 and angle 5 is equal that is nothing but the corresponding angles are equal in similar way you can also find that angle 2 is equal to angle 6 or angle 3 is equal to angle 7 and also angle 4 is equal to angle 8 which are nothing but a pair of corresponding angles. Hence, you can say that the parallel lines intersected by a transversal, the angles in a pair of corresponding angles are equal. That is, angle 1 is equal to angle 5, angle 2 is equal to angle 6, angle 4 is equal to angle 8, and angle 3 is equal to angle 7. So now, we know that the corresponding angles are equal in a pair of parallel lines intersected by a transversal can say that angle 1 is equals to angle 5 and we also know that angle 1 is equals to angle 3 since vertically opposite angles are always equal hence by replacing the equations we can say that angle 5 is equals to angle 3 which are nothing but the interior alternate angles that is angle 3 and angle 5 and similarly angle 4 and angle 6 are also the other pair of integer alternate angles and in the same way they are also equal therefore we can say that the parallel lines intersected by transversal angles in each pair of alternate integer angles are equal that is angle 3 is equals to angle 5 and angle 4 is equals to angle 6 now that alternate integer angles are equal that is angle 3 is equals to angle 5 we also know that angle 3 plus angle 4 is equals to 180 degrees since these angles lie on the line L and they are a linear pair of angles therefore they are always supplementary hence by substituting these equations we can say that angle 5 plus angle 4 is also equals to 180 degrees which are nothing but interior angles on the same side of a transversal therefore we can say that when the parallel lines intersected by a transversal, angles in each pair of interior angles on the same side of a transversal are supplementary. That is, angle 4 plus angle 5 is equals to 180 degrees and angle 3 plus angle 6 is equals to 180 degrees. Therefore, in short, we have learned that when the parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, the pair of angles in the corresponding angles and alternate interior angles are always equal and also that the angles in each pair of interior angles on the same side of a transversal are supplementary. So this was a basic introduction to transversal on parallel lines. Hope you liked the presentation. Do like and subscribe to teachacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.